Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with My Photo Borders. I'd like to go over a new design we just released. This is the um, Hockey Game Day Edition. This is our second one that we've actually done for hockey. The first one was with the helmets. This one is with the hockey pucks. So let me just go through it real quick and show you guys how to use this template. So first off, let me say this is a Adobe Photoshop template. Uh, you will need Adobe Photoshop because the template does use smart objects and smart objects does not work in Adobe Elements so just keep that in mind. So to start off the first three layers is our text layers which controls all the text you see on the template. So basically to change any of that just double click on the letter T you see over here in the layers and that allow you to change that. As far as the uh, text box at the bottom just um, to change the color of the text box just double click in this um, lower right hand corner of the thumbnail this will bring up the uh, color picker for you and as you can see you can change it right there and if you double click on the FX symbol this will allow you to change the stroke uh, right now I have a gray stroke around it but if you want you know different color you can change it there as well so let's go ahead and get started with the uh, hockey pucks themselves. I'm going to start with the left hockey puck. So when you open this folder up you're going to see there's a lot of layers here. Um, so basically most of these layers just have to deal with the uh, effect that's applied to the hockey puck. So these are uh, 3D rendered um, pucks so they're really high quality um, images and these are just rendered um, outputs here to give the, uh, the lighting effects that you see. So the main thing you need to worry about is this one here and the puck color. So the one highlighted in lavender, that's your smart object, and this one is the um, puck color itself. So I would recommend just leaving the puck color dark, unless for some reason you know you want to change it. But I prefer to leave it dark and then just change the logo features. So let me show you how to change the logo real quick. So on the smart object in the bottom right hand corner, just double click. What this is going to do is open a new document and you'll see the logo that we currently have. What I recommend doing is just um, hide in the top layer and we will grab a new um, logo. I've got one open here called Eagles. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to drag it in. And, uh, and if, if your logo comes in too big or too small, just um, transform and scale it to fit however you want. Like I say, um, inside of this circle, you can make it as big or as small as you want, but I would keep it within the um, this white circle you see here. So if you like that look there, you can hit Control S to save it, and um, you can go back and uh, look at your updated uh, logo right there. So. And actually that doesn't look too bad it kind of the color kind of goes with it except maybe this orange color so um, the orange outer color is the background color if you double click on it we can make it match if you want uh, maybe make it a little bit darker there we go let's save that real quick go back and look up the updated uh, there we go so I'm gonna leave that just like that it looks pretty good um, and then Let's go ahead and um, close this folder. Let's go to the right hockey puck and we'll make an update that that one as well. So let me get this one out of my way. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the uh, double clicking on, on the um, smart object. And this will open up the logo for the right side puck. Close that out and then let's just go grab this one I have open called Falcons. There we go, and I'll actually let me scale this up a little bit more, maybe. All right, so let's start with the colors at the bottom, our background color. And yeah, we'll just play around with it here. So the thing with these pucks is, um, so I've got a background color, I have an inner color, and then I have a stripe color. So this gives you a lot of options to customize the, the logo feature however you want. Um, you can come up with many variations, so. Let's go ahead and double click on the inner color. Let's see, I tell you what, 
Let's see what that looks like and let's change the uh, stripe color. Maybe something not quite as dark. Let's see what that looks like real quick. I'm going to save it. Control S to save. Let's go back. Doesn't look too bad. But let's try, let's try flipping this. Let's make the background color maybe red. And the color black. Nope, can't do that. We can do this. Let's see what this looks like. And let's make the stripe color black. Okay. Save that. Go back. Doesn't look bad. Okay. So let's leave it as that. I just want to show you a quick example how you can change those out. And then, like I say, once again, as far as the text, uh, I'm just going to come down here and double click. And I'm going to select the text tool here. And I'm going to highlight tigers. And we will replace that with eagles. And then I'm going to come over here and highlight cougars. And this will be falcons. There we go. And then, so that's pretty much it uh, as far as updating the hockey pucks. Uh, as far as the background goes, um, it's pretty much a solid background layer, so there's not much you can do there other than if you want to hide the smoke. Uh, this uh, top background layer is a blurred out version. So if you want a little more detail, you can just click off. It actually looks better, I think, with the blurred version. And um, the foreground effects um, is just the little ice particles and things you see, the glow. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions about the design, just feel free to send me an email or you can reach out to me on uh, Facebook as well. Thank you very much and have a great day.